When the United States purchased Louisiana from France in 1803, the territory was largely unexplored. Maps of the era showed a vast emptiness west of the Mississippi. Trappers and fur traders who trekked the region returned with tales of unicorns and other fanciful creatures. Even President Jefferson, an enthusiastic scientist and fossil collector, held far-fetched notions of what might be found there. In the present interior of our continent, there is surely space and range enough for elephants and lions. If in that climate they could subsist, and for mammoths and megalonyxes who may subsist there. The president enlisted his private secretary, Meriwether Lewis, and a frontiersman named William Clark to explore the uncharted land. They were given instructions to evaluate the economic potential of the territory, to establish trade with the region's natives, and to search for the fabled water route to the Pacific Ocean. The Lewis and Clark expedition, christened the Corps of Discovery, embarked from St. Louis in May 1804. Some 48 men in all traveled northwest on the Missouri River, across the Great Plains and the Rocky Mountains, before descending along the Columbia River to the Pacific Coast, and then retracing their steps on the journey home. It was an amazing odyssey of discovery and adventure. The explorers didn't find a water route to the Pacific, but they recorded hundreds of species of plants and animals, many of them new to American science. They made notes on the geography and climate of the region. With the help of a Shoshone interpreter and guide named Sakagawea, they forged relations with dozens of indigenous tribes they encountered along the way. And they mapped a great expanse of the American West, laying a path for future exploration and settlement. The Corps of Discovery returned to St. Louis in May 1806, a remarkable 8,000 miles and more than two years after they departed. In the subsequent years and decades, countless others traveled in their footsteps as the United States sought to fulfill its manifest destiny. The idea that the nation was preordained to expand from coast to coast. This ideology fueled the growth of the United States and with it, the removal of American Indian groups, the expansion of slavery, and by 1846, war with Mexico.